One round robin device lets you set up up to eight round robins. And uh, let me show you how this works quickly. So first of all, let's say we want to set up uh, a round robin um, for my first pad here. So first we need to check which node I'm sending in. So you have an input monitor here and you can see I'm sending in a C1 and the velocity is shown here as well. Okay, so I just need to switch on the first row here and put in the value C1. Now um, this is being triggered and I can see this. Let's put the steps down to one for now because the first input here, it will flash up red and the play button here as well if um, this note is being received. Cool, so now I want to set up, um, let's say, different sounds here I got in my user library being played with only this one pad in a chain. Okay, let us just take those four sounds. So I'm gonna put this in here and group this to a drum rack. And now I have um, the first note being sitting here on, or the first sample sitting here on the C1. So I'm gonna put the next one onto the C sharp one and the next one onto the D1 and the next one to the D sharp one if I'm getting back to my drum rack here. There we go. What's happening? Okay, I'm just too quick with the mouse. And let's do this again. There we go. And now it's in here and we can listen to the sounds. Okay, so we can differentiate them now. Okay, so what I want to have now, I want um, in the all the other fields, I have now um, a round robin of four steps. So I need to put in four here, four samples, four steps. And now four fields here are active and I can change the notes um, which this um, sequence should be triggering. So um, I can put them in manually here. I can use my mouse and slide up or I can put in um, the values via my keyboard here as well. C sharp one, there we go. Or um, because quite often in a round robin, you want to have semitones going up. So you can just press here semitones up and this will change um, all the notes according to the first note. So just to show you if you change the first note and press up, it's going in semitones up, the whole row or down would go as well. So let's put this back to C1 and set this to up. And now you can see we have um, the same notes here like the notes we want to trigger in the drum rack. So now I can just play my pad and the round robin device will trigger this um, round robin sequence here. So this was a quite technical approach here and showing you how to set this up, but you can use this obviously different. You can have instruments here as well, playing different note pitches, um, or you could use this for um, acoustic drum sounding or getting more acoustic drum sounds. Obviously you have uh, different tools in Ableton Live for that, which might work better uh, depending on what you want to do. So if you want realistic drum sounds, you can uh, do layered stuff really nice and really well um, in the sampler, for example, velocity layered. And, and here, this is just a different way on doing this, uh, doing a round robin. This is not velocity layered, but you can play actually different samples in a row so you won't get a machine gun sound effect if you're using um, different samples for acoustic drums for example.